guys, this is Daniel with Champion Industries, and today we're taking a look at what to do at the end of the day when we're done washing dishes with our Champion DH6000 series door style dishwasher. Now right behind me I have kind of the flagship in the series, it's the tall ventless machine. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn the machine off if it's not already off by hitting the green button right there. And what that'll do is open up that automatic drain and automatically drain this machine out and get rid of all that dirty dishwater. So once we've done that, what we'll do is go ahead and open up our door. And we're going to want to leave the machine for a couple few minutes, right? And that's because, remember, everything that was in here just a little while ago was very hot. And we don't want to burn ourselves or get ourselves exposed to all that. So we're just going to walk away for a few minutes. So let's say we did that. We have our machine here and a couple things we need to take out that we need to clean up. So I'm actually going to bring my cart over. And on my cart, we're going to load up all the items that we need to take over to the sink and clean. So we're going to start up here, and again, we've given ourselves some time to cool off. We have our upper rinse and wash arm. And so what we're going to do is hold these by supporting them here, and we have this little nut right here. And this should always only ever be hand tight, so no need to grab any tools. So I'm going to take this down, and I'm going to give it a little shake because any water that might be there. And I'm going to do the same thing with the wash arm. So. Now that I've got those out, I'm just going to stick them on my cart here, and I'm going to set this over to the side. Now remember, this has, on this little nut, some removable pieces. Uh, we don't really want to remove those, but just something to keep in mind that those can come out and potentially get lost, and we don't want to lose anything. So, we'll set that right here, and we're going to repeat the same process for the lower wash and rinse arms. So I'm just going to take this right here, loosen that up. Pour out any water. You can see I've got some in here. Give that a couple of shakes and I'm going to set this off to the side. Same with our wash arm. Try to get as much of that back down in the dish machine as possible. So the next thing we're going to do is take out our scrap screens. Let's say these right here, I've got a little bit of stuff because I've been using this machine. So I'm going to set this over to one side. And so what we're going to do with these scrap screens is we're going to take these over to the trash can pop some of this stuff off, and then we'll take it over to our uh, overhead wash arm and we'll kind of wash the rest of that out of there. The next thing we have here is we have this little divider tray. We'll show how that goes back in in another video. We'll pull that out. Now, I'm actually gonna switch places. Come around to this side here, and I will show you the often forgotten pump intake screen but we don't want to forget about this because this is our last line of defense before any kind of food matter or any kind of soil gets sucked back into the pump on this. And we want to keep that as clean as possible. So we're going to reach down in here in the tank. Okay, again, always give it time to cool down. Don't ever touch these elements down in here because those are hot. And we're going to want to just pull that straight up and straight out. So if you want to see how that gets reassembled, there's just a couple of tracks right there. And it'll just slide right in on those. But for now, we want to pull that out. And we're going to want to do this every day, every time we clean this machine, because this is not a large one. Again, smaller machine, but this needs to be cleaned all the time because this can get very dirty very quickly. So we'll set this off to one side when we take it over to the sink to clean. So after giving just a quick last visual inspection, seeing if anything else got, uh, got stuck inside here, it looks fairly clean up and down. If we have the ability, if it's at the end of the night, we're going to want to leave this door open and allow this to dry out. That will help in not harboring any kind of bacteria or anything else inside the machine. So now that we've said that, we're going to leave that to dry with the door open. I'm going to take these items right here over to the three compartment sink and with the wash tank filled with a little bit of mild detergent, I'm just going to let these soak for a little while. And then if I need to, I can take a rag or something soft, not a, you know, no uh, scotch bright pads or anything like that, but something soft and give these a little wipe down. I can even take the overhead spray arm and kind of spray in there just to make sure that we don't have any larger items. I'll do that with all these bits and pieces here. And then tomorrow morning, they'll all be set and ready to go to reassemble in our machine. 